ColorQI for .NET MAUI is a comprehensive library with a vast array of UI components and related features, and all these equip developers with everything they may need in a single toolkit. These components are meticulously designed from the ground up to facilitate shorter development cycles, expedite iterations, and ultimately reduce time to market. While Telerik UI is renowned for its extensive use of UI components, Telerik UI for .NET MAUI offers much more than just UI widgets. In addition to the UI components, Telerik UI includes a suite of optional tools and features designed to enhance development efficiency. These include document processing. It also comes with built-in validation and globalization features, simplifying the creation of multilingual applications. Additionally, it provides a host of other beneficial features like accessibility, Excel export, and observable data source. While these features are optional, it's reassuring to know that they're ready and available whenever you need them. The key advantage of using Telerik UI is the support backing it. You'll have access to a team of professional developers offering support. Furthermore, Telerik UI for .NET MAUI is frequently updated, ensuring you will always have the most recent features and improvements at your disposal. It's also worth mentioning the extensive documentation that comes with the library providing an invaluable resource for your development journey. To ensure your success with this course, we'll dive into some prerequisites in the next lesson. Let's keep moving forward on this exciting journey of learning Telerik UI for .NET MAUI. Before we dive into Telerik UI for .NET MAUI, let's take a moment to discuss some prerequisites that will help you get the most out of this course. First and foremost, you should have a basic understanding of .NET and c -sharp programming. .NET MAUI and Telerik UI for .NET MAUI are both based on these technologies, so being comfortable with them will make your learning journey smoother. Next, some familiarity with XAML, the markup language used for designing .NET MAUI interfaces, will be beneficial. While we will cover the basics during this course, having a grasp on XAML will help you understand and design aspects of .NET MAUI applications more quickly. Experience with Visual Studio, the primary development environment we'll be using in this course, is also important. Knowing your way around Visual Studio will speed up your development process. You can use other editors and IDEs to develop MAUI apps and use Telerik UI for .NET MAUI in those other tools, but we won't cover those in this course. You also don't need prior knowledge of Xamarin, Xamarin Forms, or Telerik UI for Xamarin. While .NET MAUI is a successor to Xamarin, it stands on its own and can be learned independently, and so can Telerik UI for .NET MAUI. Finally, while not strictly necessary, it's beneficial to have some understanding of UI and UX design principles. This knowledge will help you not only build functional applications, but also create intuitive and aesthetically pleasing user interfaces with Telerik UI for .NET MAUI. All this being said, the prerequisites are not intended to be barriers to entry, but guidelines to help you better understand and engage with the content of this course. Even if you're not fully comfortable with all of them, don't worry. This course will guide you through the concepts step by step, and with a bit of practice, you'll be building .NET MAUI applications with Telerik UI in no time. Let's take a moment to discuss the resources available to you to support your learning journey with Telerik UI for .NET MAUI. Firstly, the official Telerik UI for .NET MAUI documentation is an invaluable resource. It offers comprehensive guides, tutorials, and detailed explanations of the components and their functionalities. It's regularly updated to reflect the latest changes and improvements to the library. In addition to the official documentation, Telerik also provides a host of demos showcasing the capabilities of the UI components. These demos can serve as a source of inspiration and a practical guide on how to implement and use the components effectively. I will show you how to get the demos running on your machine so that you can have these available for reference. The Telerik blogs are another excellent resource where you'll find articles written by both Telerik staff and community members. These articles cover a wide range of topics, from detailed walkthroughs of specific features to best practices and tips for using the components. Lastly, don't forget about the code base that accompanies this course. It provides practical examples and serves as a reference point for the concepts and techniques we'll be covering. We'll dive into all this in the next chapter. Remember, these resources are here to support you. Make the most of them and you'll be well equipped to take full advantage of the capabilities of Telerik UI for .NET MAUI. In the next chapter, we'll start diving into the fun stuff, getting our hands dirty with setting up and starting to build our first .NET MAUI app using Telerik UI.